Let's face it, we're addicted to information. Anything we want to know is just a few clicks away, so why should our hot rods be any different? Whether you've already installed a Dakota digital instrument system or are thinking of adding one, the BIM series of expansion modules may be just what you're looking for. Out of the box, our instrument systems offer you your six standard gauge readings, but if you need more, you don't have to resort to gauges below the dash or taking up your A-pillar. BIM series modules allow you to add 16 additional readings to your existing instrument system's message center, which is where the clock and the odometer are displayed. At any time, you can use your programming switches to toggle through the readings. Any parameters added to an instrument system are always being monitored. So, for example, if you're not actively viewing transmission temperature, you'll still get a warning if the temperature goes above your set point. This video will give you an overview of what auxiliary BIM source inputs look like on VFD3, VHX, HDX, and RTX instrument systems, as well as a quick look at BIM connections. Our full digital systems can enjoy BIM expandability, provided the system is using a plastic control box. If your system has two message centers, the BIM readings will be shown on the right side display. Switch 2 will scroll through the readings available on the right. On single message center systems, use Switch 2 to access the TAC message displays. Keep in mind that VFD3 systems can still add up to 16 additional readings, even though you can only see one bit of information at a time. The VHX series allows a bit more customization with its LCD message centers. You're able to turn readings on and off, allowing you to see just what you want, as well as decide where readings are displayed. Naturally, Switch 1 controls LCD 1, while Switch 2 runs LCD 2. If you have a VLK clock module, BIM readings can also be shown on this display, effectively giving you a third LCD for data. HDX and RTX instrument systems allow for the most information at a glance. On a majority of kits, the full color, high contrast TFT message centers can display four readings at one time, which are organized into screens. You can set up three sets of these screens, which makes toggling to desired information a snap. Using our available app for smartphones and tablets really streamlines the setup process, making the multitude of features much more manageable. BIM modules are a small electronic case that mount inside the cabin and connect to their respective sensor. The BIM units connect to the main instrument system control box, with multiple units plugging into one another in a system called daisy chaining. Data is transferred through the supplied cables, one module to the other, ultimately to the control box. Depending on the age of your instrument system and BIM units, you may have a round 3.5 millimeter jack, not unlike that of a set of headphones, or newer systems use a four pin square connector. We have adapter harnesses to plug any into either, so you can always expand. Keep the BIM series of expansion modules in mind, whether you already have a Dakota digital instrument system or are still considering one. You can add pertinent information without cluttering up your interior.